Yep, it's time. I've been steadily gaining weight over the last four months and now it's time to get lean again. The philosophy of gaining muscle without gaining too much fat is actually very simple. You need to alternate your cut and bulk cycles in the range of 8 to 15% body fat. So the first requirement is that you start your gaining phase lean, around 8 to 10% body fat and you steadily gain weight until you hit 13 to 15% body fat. Once you reach the point where I am now, where you start to lose your abs, you cut back down to 10% and restart the whole process. The awesome thing about doing this is that you spend the majority of the year in a surplus, not in a deficit. The reason for that is because you can lose fat much faster than you can gain muscle. That means that uh, usually it's going to take you 5 to 8 weeks to cut down from around 15% to 10%, but if you're disciplined on your lean bulk, you will spend 5 to 8 months in a surplus to go from 10% to 15%. The problem is most guys highly overestimate the amount of muscle they can gain in a few months. The reality is that at the intermediate level, you will do well if you can gain a kilogram of muscle, that is 2.5 pounds, over the course of 3 months. Yeah, I know, it sounds depressing, but it's the truth when you're natural. That means there is no point in gaining weight faster than half a kilogram per month as you're bulking. Now sure, you can gain 1 or 2 kilograms per month hoping to gain more muscle, but uh, you will still only gain as much as the natural rate will allow. The majority of the weight will still be fat. So, at some point in your lean bulk, you're going to stop and think, hmm, I should start losing some fat. Lose fat fast and gain weight slowly. To keep you motivated, remember that the best way to track physique changes is through relative strength. Every time your strength compared to your body weight improves, you will look better. That means when you cut, when you lose body weight, if you can maintain your strength, your relative strength improves, you will look better. If you bulk and you gain strength faster than you gain body weight, your relative strength improves, so you will look better. Another very useful piece of information I want to share is how to easily track body fat percentage and you do that through your waist measurement. A few months ago I came up with this table to show how your waist measurement around the navel correlates with your body fat and people loved it. The problem is that they took it too seriously, almost as a law. I'd say this works well for around 80% of men and it's not 100% accurate, however you can be sure that when your waist is narrower, you are leaner. I have a naturally slim waist for my height. I actually don't fit in that table. I know that when I'm around 8 to 9% body fat, my waist is around 75 centimeters. Today it's almost 79 centimeters, which I know means I'm around 12 to 13%. My goal right now over the next 5 to 6 weeks is to go back down to 75 centimeters. I'll stop cutting when I hit that point because I know I'll be lean enough. And uh, in terms of my uh, training, my goal is to maintain strength or if I can, to make some progress. Because I'm doing that, because I'll be cutting, that means this is gonna be the last episode of Muscling In. The last episode from season one. This is a muscle building series, so I'm not gonna talk about how to lose body fat. However, once my cut is over, I will go back to doing muscling in episodes or I don't know maybe we'll do a different series. Stay tuned for fat loss videos over the next few weeks and sometime around March we'll go back to talking about muscle growth.